So here's a little tutorial on how to use the procedural zipper generator. If you open the file, this is what you see. Like here, everything is already imported. If you want to import the zipper, you need this curve, the zipper curve. So if we go to a new blend file, let's turn off these collections. We go to file, append, and then go to where our zipper is stored. Go to the zipper blend file and then in objects, go to the zipper curve. Here's the zipper curve. And when we append, it will show up correctly with everything on it. So this is how to import it by appending. You can also make this into an asset, mark as asset, and then in your library file, uh, you can find it back. These are all my other assets. You can just drag them in. So if you want to use uh, the zipper, what you can do is just go in uh, into edit mode by pressing tab or going to edit mode. And then with the pen tool uh, with surface applied, you can start drawing your zippers. And it's as easy as that. Make sure that you select the object that you're drawing on. So the zipper curve is separate from your object. So if I want to draw on the sphere, you select your zipper curve and then here you select sphere. This makes sure that uh, the lines that you draw are exactly projected onto your object. So there won't be uh, any clipping. If you want to uh, change the settings of the zipper, you can do it in the parameters. So you have a size multiplier, you can make it bigger or smaller. You have different kinds of zippers. If we look at the teeth and the zipper head, we see that they change. Uh, we have five uh, zipper teeth kinds and we have four zipper heads. What you can do if you want to make your own, you just uh, put them here in the zipper head file and then they will show up if you use the indexes. You can also open your zipper by using the zipper open factor and you can even determine how open you want them. You should be careful because you drag this out too much, you get uh, intersections of the zippers. And of course, you can also change the materials of your zippers. So if you want a silver zipper, like the teeth material or a, a silver head or mix any materials, you can do it here. And it's also very easy to flip the zipper the other way around. Make sure that if you um, make another zipper onto another object to type in textile uv in the textile uvs uh, this will link back to the material that creates the uh, textile and makes it follow the curve so if we go to sh shading here uh, and go to the zipper textile then you see here that, that there is an attribute that is linking to this name. So make sure that you name uh, the UV correctly and then everything should work. So there we go with the procedural uh, zippers.